done it all Justin here today we are checking out Make Me Smile Come Up and See Me by Steve Harley and the Cockney Rebel fantastic tune this one and got a great acoustic guitar solo by a legendary player Jim Cregan which we'll be covering in a lesson in the future uh, but in this one we're going to be looking at the little intro thing and the chord sequences so uh, really really good tune fairly kind of standard arrangement except for a little extra bar of G chord that was kind of sneaks into the verses there which is a little bit uh, you have to remember it's there otherwise uh, you know the rest of the band will still be on G and you'll be on the next chord, which would be a bit embarrassing. So uh, let's start off by going through the chords, keeping the strumming real simple, just four strums to the bar. So we're starting off, uh, the intro is in G, but we're going to come back and have a look at that in a close up in a sec. Uh, so we're starting off on an F chord. You've done it F to C in every G. Back to F. Back to F, blue eyes, C, blue eyes, F. How can you see so many G's? Two bars of G there, into the chorus D minor. Come up and F me, make me see G. D minor, do what you F, run and see. there's a little stop there. So that's all of the chords for the verses and the choruses. There's one other little bit which I'll talk about for the chords first of all, which is underneath the guitar solo, uh, the chord sequence is ever so slightly different. So uh, let's look at that as well. So the chords for the guitar solo are starting off with an F chord to an E minor, F to an A minor, to two bars of E minor, the two bars of G. Now we've got the chorus sequence, D minor, F, C, to G, D minor, F, C, to G. And a second bar of G, I think. So uh, let's talk about the strumming. Now the strumming mainly on the record is this down, down, up, down, up, down, up. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. And it's that sequence pretty much all of the way through. One thing that you might like to play with a little bit is where you put your accents in. Because uh, if, you, if you kind of do it, that was a standard kind of sequence. You know, when it comes on the G chords for a couple of bars, you know, building it up a little bit can be a really interesting thing to do and uh, add a bit of life to it because, you know, strumming patterns are, are, are what you use nearly all of the time, but it's a really good idea to have little variations at the end of little four or eight bar sequences, just little ones, you know, maybe adding some accents or an extra strum, that kind of thing, um, you know, making sure you stay in 4-4, of course. Uh, 
But uh, with that information, I think that you've got the, the whole tune. Again, listening to the original recording and playing along is a really good way to cop the feel because the feel in this is really great as well, really kind of relaxed and grooving. And, uh, you know, playing along with the original records will help you absorb that rather than just playing on your own all the time. So highly recommend the uh, playing with the original recordings. There's a really, really tasty solo in this song. Uh, definitely recommend you having a go at learning it yourself, trying to transcribe it and work out how to play it on your own, although I will be doing a lesson on it in the future. It's one of those ones I remember learning as a kid and just, uh, you know, it's kind of challenging. There's some there definitely some moments in there that might have you scratching your head, but it's, a, you know, such a beautiful solo, so beautifully played. Uh, Jim Cregan is a fantastic guitar player, definitely worth checking out a lot of his stuff. Um, he was the guitar player with the Cockney Rebel and later uh, Rod Stewart and some other big name people uh, and a lovely guy. I've had the pleasure of uh, working with Jim a couple of times. Um, so uh, if you want to improvise yourself, uh, you, looking at the, G, the, sorry, the C major scale is uh, what you want to be using to improvise over that chord sequence. It's uh, lots of fun. Uh, so let's go to a close up now and check out the intro. <laughs> So that's the intro there. Uh, starting on the thicker string, we've got the third fret, fifth fret, then the next string, second fret, third fret, fifth fret, next string, second fret, third fret, fifth fret, next string, second fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, back to the fourth fret, and finishing on the fifth fret of the fourth string. So. And then we've got this little bit at the end, which is 2nd fret, this on the 3rd string, 2nd fret, 4th fret, 5th fret, 4th fret, 2nd fret, 4th fret. The whole thing. Now there's a little note, sometimes when I'm playing this I do a little arrangement that I did years ago. Just kind of makes it sound a little bit more interesting. I'm playing the third fret and the second fret. A little bit more interesting if you're playing it by yourself, that is. Uh, if you're doing it in a band, I'd just do it the way I showed you before. But uh, if you want to try doing this, second fret in the third fret of the fourth string, first finger in the second fret of the third string, you play those two notes together, little finger goes down in the fourth fret and then plays the fifth fret. And then you've got 2nd and 3rd fingers going down in the 5th fret and 4th fret of the middle two strings, back two frets, and back. So there you have it, that's Make Me Smile, Come Up and See Me by Steve Harley and the Cockney Rebel. I hope you enjoy that one. See you for plenty more lessons very soon. You take care of yourselves. Bye bye.